Hey guys, Crew Blind Wave, I'm Eric. I'm Shane. I'm Calvin. I'm Melanie. And I'm Aaron. And we're back. It's good to see a lot of you that uh, check out our Game of Thrones videos. We're back with season seven. We're watching on Monday morning. I hated myself last night for not watching it, but yeah. we have a new schedule. We are so excited for Game of Thrones. We yes. have a few orders of business before we get started. Uh, the first thing is make sure you guys are watching to the end of the video. We do a poll every week yes. uh, for Game of Thrones. So we want your voice in that poll. We'll talk about it next episode. Um, and uh, also, uh, we do Q&As for Game of Thrones. So if you go to our Twitter, which is Aaron... Uh, Blind Wave Prod. Yes. You can go to our Twitter, put uh, hashtag GOTQ&A, yes. and we'll answer questions after every episode as well. Now, uh, that we've done that, how excited are you guys? Yeah. Pretty excited. Uh, yes. I'm excited. I, haven't, I haven't wore this shirt for over a year. <laughs> it's been a long time, hasn't it? We had Daenerys going across the water. I want to see her finally get to where she's getting. We've been going, she's been going here for six seasons. Daenerys yeah. is going to Westeros. <laughs> Arya is killed. in... Arya is in Westeros yeah. and killed Walter Frey. I know. Jon Snow is king of the north. <laughs> Sansa's with him. Hopefully not doing anything too bad. I don't know. Little fingers little there. there. Yeah, yeah, fucking there. little finger. Lady Mormont, little queen. <laughs> little <laughs> yeah. Jorah the Andal is walking around with Grayscale. Tyrion, awesome. Hand of the queen. Jamie, sad because his sister's queen. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. Mar Mar Marjorie. The scepter. Marjorie's, yeah, Marjorie's sitting in that bell. She's in the bell. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's so many characters. Sandor Kaglane is with the Brotherhood Without Banners. Mm -hmm. uh, what else? Uh, is it it? Bran. Uh, Bran. 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 <laughs> Bran. Bran News John Spardor. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> 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 Fucking all year. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, <Too> soon? <laughs> okay. So I think that's the recap. Yeah, we got gray joys. We got so much. And King's stuff Landing on. is like in just shambles now. Shambles. The the sparrows' oh power. I'm assuming are gone. Gone. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Along with their bodies. Um. Okay. So that's the recap. And then uh, one last order of business. Pokey Monday is now earlier. So oh my gosh! You son of a. Bitch. Wait, that's not the last order. That's not the order of business. Oh, one last order of business, Aaron. Oh. Uh, one more thing that we've been adding, especially now that Game of Thrones is coming back, because yeah. they're so long, there's so much stuff people want to see us react to and talk about. Yes, it's long. Um, we are, uh, we're adding a new tier, we've already added a new tier to our Patreon, where oh. Game of Thrones, especially, as well as other things that we watch, um, will have full-length reactions, but there's no reference footage. It's just going to be our reactions. So if you want to see the parts that that had to get cut out for the YouTube video because mm -hmm. you know we have the copyright issues that we have to follow and stay yeah, under ten minutes. And 10 with, minutes as long as these are and as good yeah. of content that's in it, you know, sometimes we were like, "Well, why'd you have to cut this?" Like, well, we had to make choices. <laughs> so what you're saying is that if they go to our Patreon account, find the Game of Thrones video there, then if they line up with this video, they can watch the entire episode. With yes, us. they can go and watch their Game of Thrones video yeah. with us there, sure, and have the full reaction. So okay. that's a, a little bonus if you guys want to see more than what we can offer here on YouTube. And a little extra bonus with that. We've also been doing this for the last couple of weeks, so there's a, there's a decent little library in there. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I hope you guys enjoy that. But we're not talking about that. We're watching Game of Thrones. Oh my gosh, I'm so, I'm so excited. Can we please please mm -hmm. start? Calvin, what? I want you to give the finest of button hits. Uh -oh. The finest, Calvin. Calvin! Da -da -da -da. Oh, shit. Is she you. wearing his? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yes, she is. Yes. Are you serious? He's playing Arya Stark. <laughs> I don't think it's a flashback. It's gotta be Arya. What? Is what does she do? Poison. It's gotta be poison, thing. right? Oh. Not you. I'm not wasting good wine on a damn woman. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Man, she's got his personality down. <laughs> You didn't slaughter every one. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. I'm so happy to see Poison. Only one wolf alive, and the sheep are never safe. Oh, oh shit! Oh, oh, oh shit! Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> We've never seen. Oh, oh shit! Yes. Tell them the North remembers. Oh, oh shit. Gosh. Tell them winter came. House Fred. Oh, winter came for House Fred. Oh, shit. <laughs> Dude, Arya just got back. She, she just destroyed an entire house. Buddy. Oh, my God. 
Is that the first time we've ever had the, the beginning before this? Uh, as a cold open opener? Has it been a cold opener before? I, 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 yeah, there has, yeah. But, man. No, no, no. That was awesome. It's never given me a murder boner before. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, no Isos. There's no Isos in the opener. Oh, they didn't go to Isos? No, yeah, this is the first time we've never had an Isos. <laughs> you better have crossed the sea by now. <laughs> they take another sea and it should sail. <laughs> but no more sexy whores. <sighs> Don't well, show the leader no knows. Hodor. I don't want to see Hodor. Oh, shush. Don't even. Ooh. If they showed Hodor, I'm done. Oh, no. Uh, oh, shit. No, it is right. It is a giant. Oh, shit. They have the giant whites. <sighs> White giant. Oh, there's another oh, one. No. Oh, yeah, you're shit. right. Shit. Another there's one. three. Oh. Dude, look there's at it. There's so many. There's so... That one has a bow. Uh, it's about time we taught these boys of summer how to fight. <laughs> <laughs> Not just the boys. Everyone. Uh, we can't defend the North if only half the population is fighting. Yep. I don't plan on knitting by the fire while men fight for me. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> and I might be a girl. But I am every bit as much a Northerner as you. Aye. Last time we saw the Night King was at Hardholm. The closest castle to Hardholm is Eastwatch by the sea. And that's where I'll go. Looks like we're the Night's Watch now. <laughs> <laughs> if they East breach watch. the war. So there's no punishment for treason and no reward for loyalty. Not in front of everybody. <laughs> He's not wrong, but not in front of everybody. The man who passes the sentence should swing the sword, and I have tried to live by those words. Yeah, me too. Yeah, Don't we never let anyone question his authority? You think he was a good king? Come on. No. Now. Bitch! <laughs> no! I think I'm Joffrey. <laughs> yeah! Far from Joffrey as anyone I've ever known. Okay. Thank you. Everyone who's ever crossed her, she's found a way to murder. Yeah, she won't underestimate her. Yeah. You almost sound as if you admire her. <laughs> you should. I learned a great deal from her. A lot of things about Cersei to admire and hate. Yeah. Yes. But yeah. you can't underestimate her. Look at her. She's standing on the world. We never talked about Tom. Our baby boy killed himself. He betrayed me. He betrayed us both. Should we spend our days mourning dead mother, father, and all our children? Cersei. I loved them, I did. They're ashes now, and we're still flesh and blood. I think I listened to father for 40 years and learned nothing. Seems like it. No. Oh, shit. Wow. You're on? Wow. How did they build the that many ships? Look at that flag. Dude, I love that. Yeah. That is a, a galleon. heck of a galleon. Those are badass shit. I'm not good at anything. I know the Iron Ball. They're better angry little people. <laughs> <laughs> they know how to do is steal things they can't build or grow themselves. <laughs> I thought we rightful monarchs could murder them together. Mm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's got new black armor. People I was cutting down were your own kin. This place was getting crowded. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy watching it. Rocks and... Good shit, man. And a lot of very unattractive people. <laughs> I won't return to King's Landing until I have that for you. Okay. Uh, hmm. What gift? The oh. gift, huh? Don't splash, don't splash, don't splash. Okay, splash. Oh. Uh, uh, oh, wow. You gotta work from the bottom. You gotta work from the bottom. Bottom. The editing on this is amazing and, and, there, and terrible. Dude, it's a restriction section. There is. He's a visibility clerk. Get in there. Yeah. Uh -huh. And Phil should cut no. They won't. <laughs> is that Slughorn? Yes. Jim Bro Broadbent? Yeah. I was wondering. Huh. What's the weight? Wait, what's um, he from again? Harry Potter. Yeah. He's the one that Tom Riddle asked about the yeah. horror crooks. In the restricted section. I was in the restricted section. <laughs> when Robert's Rebellion was raging, oh. people thought the end was near. The end of the Targaryen dynasty. How will we survive? When Aegon Targaryen turned his eye westward and flew his dragons to Blackwater Rush, the end is near. How will we survive? During the long night, we can forgive them for thinking it truly was the end, but it wasn't. Yeah. None of it was. Here, There's like the anthropological approach to it. Clean this up. Yeah, a thousand years, we're still going to be here. Tormund! <laughs> You watch her? <laughs> Get that eye. Uh, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, poor pie. You're a lucky man. Lucky man. <laughs> no need to seize the last word, Lord Baelish. I'm assuming it was something clever. <laughs> oh, shit, I man. Burn. Lannisters. Looks like Ed Sheeran. 
It is it. What the fuck? Guess first. Oh no, I couldn't. You don't have enough. But my mother always told me to be kind to strangers. Strangers to be kind to you. Hmm. They're not all bad. <laughs> I'm going to kill the queen. Oh, that's her laughing. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've think... never heard her laugh. Oh. Uh, oh, that's a little place, isn't it? That's the place with the the devout man and the little girl. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what doesn't scare me. Bold cocksuckers like you. <laughs> think you're fooling anyone with that top knot? Bold cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. It's my fucking luck I end up with a band of fire worshippers. <laughs> <laughs> He's the last person to look into the fire. Yeah. I bet you if there is a fire guy, he respects him for being so scared of fire. It's where the wall meets the sea. The castle. He's what? The castle there. And the first time he looks at it and he sees it. I see he shit. looks like he's scared, man. <laughs> Burying the dead. Wow. Dude, the cinematographer's on point. Right? Like every shot, the composition is so good. Shit. I'm sorry you're dead. You deserve better. Both of you. I keep thinking that I've seen the best scene, but I haven't. Oh. That's the Valyrian knight. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Melanie. Look at the hand, look at the hand. No. We're expecting oh, it. Oh shit, it's grayscale. It's a dude, it's Mormon. Mm. The dragon queen. It is. And there was Stormborn. Oh shit! Does it not work if you just cut off that limb? No. Oh my gosh, where is she? Dragonstone? Dude, she's on Westeros. Oh my gosh. Oh. The outfit. No. Fire and like blood, that. baby. They're going with blacks. Everybody's getting their endgame gear. <laughs> oh. Seven seasons. <laughs> Gee, that's, Dude, that's like if I found a castle made of Twinkies. It's perfect for her. That's Dude, amazing. This is a great Wall of China thing right there. Look at that. I love the way that's made there. That was so easy to rip down. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yes. Whoever put that up is a lazy asshole. Uh, let's see who the Targaryens. That's so much cooler than the throne. Great Hall of the Red Keep. <laughs> Look at that. So freaking cool. Wait, no. Oh. Right there. The painted table of Stannis. Yeah. Oh, so the table itself is in the shape of Westra? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Like, it's better than like, having a... Shit. The Targaryens made this when they landed in Westeros. A map on the floor? Yeah, like a map yeah. on a table. Shall we begin? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. That's the perfect line! She didn't say anything the whole time! Yeah. Shall we begin? Oh, fuck! Well, Kyrian didn't say one thing that episode either. He just looked around. Fucking yeah. Ed Sheeran had more lines than he did. Right? <laughs> His song and stuff? It's a new one. And freaking Sheeran, though. Yeah, I mean, funny. I bet he jumped at, at the chance. It's like Don't we need, a, we need a singer with this specific accent. Yeah. I'll do it. <laughs> you can. He probably went up to them and was like, "Hey, I'll do this for free. Just let me in your show." <laughs> right. Like, it kind of reminded me of his voice a little bit, and then she yeah. like, he kind of looks like Ed Sheeran. I'm like, huh, that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> and like, oh, it's Ed that's funny. That might be one of the best openings the show's ever had. Strongest opening, in my opinion. Oh, they, yeah? they got everybody in this premiere. Yeah, they did. Who did they miss? The, the, the Dorn. Who gives a shit about Dorn? Well, the old That's lady. Elena. Elena. They talked about her. I mean, they had her in the in the finale of last season. Yeah, that's right? true. I didn't see Marjorie. Yeah. Well, she comes, she comes, just she wait. Just they, they, they established that. <laughs> the, yeah. Guys were like, Stannis may still be. They didn't yeah. show it. But I'm pretty sure they stand. I don't know where to start. Oh, what's we'll start beginning? I'm Arya. Yeah. Do the oh, yeah with the phrase. Yeah. Oh my god. I thought that was sweet justice. Oh. The difference in justice revenge. That was sweet justice. 
She's been needing this. Like, she's needed something to go her way. Just something. Uh, that's a big thing to go her way. She took out an entire, one of the, one, one of the greatest, the great Whole houses. Yeah. Like, what's great about gone. it? What, 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 great house. They have a great house. What did you say? What's your house do? Low. You little low. This a river. The thing I the thing I like about that though too is that if you look at what John was saying about like I'm not gonna take away uh, a family from their house that they've had for generations. Like it's like if you're a traitor, then yep. you deserve to be killed. But you know I'm not gonna punish a son for the father's sins. But yeah. with that, like all of them were behind doing it. You know they yeah. all killed and they all all yeah. participated. Yeah. So I feel like she still, even though she did that, sure, it still fit more with what John said mm-hmm. too. Yeah. Where it was like, well, they're they're traitors but they yeah. they all were traitors yeah. and also they they betrayed the the old law of like uh, bringing people in your house right. Right. yeah guess right I yeah guess right so they deserve worse everything that happened to like water sense. ate his sons yeah that was <laughs> yeah <laughs> that was good justice that was <laughs> so it's so i mean aria has gone from this little girl that wanted to shoot arrows and didn't win it yeah. and now she's a fucking faceless man <gasps> One of the last Starks and took out an entire family. Yeah, like she she has entered the game in like the most badass way imaginable. She showed up in Westeros and killed everyone. Killed Mr. Trant. <laughs> now, yeah. is there going to be repercussions for her doing? Is she she just allowed to do this stuff because the the faceless man god stuff is going to be upset? I, I don't. I, I don't know I don't because think so. I, yeah, I think, I think so. like uh, fuck's his name, Jack and Hagar. Yeah, he like smiled. You know when. Yeah, as like, long as you know when the her face is on there. And he's death on. is a great thing to the face, the, the faceless god. So the, just got to make yeah. faces. Any so. any death is yeah. is praise to him. Basically. He also says well, like, I thought they had to have like a code of some sort of. They, they do have kill, a code. He, they do. They when got mad at her when yeah. when she killed uh what's his name yeah. Marin Trant. Yeah, it's just like the Jedi when Dooku left. They didn't take his lightsaber and say you can never use the Force again. Grant, he went way bad. Yeah, but they, they tried to catch him. <laughs> yeah. He did when he went Sith and was in the you know a, a war criminal. But I don't know. I feel like the faceless men, at the end of the day, they're a mercenary group. They get hired to kill. You know. But there is payment I, for the kill. That's so. true. But I think that Jack and like Shane said, he has like a small bit of respect. Respect, but he's a soft. He's kind of pride. He has a lot of pride for Arya. I think. Yeah. He met her when she was so young, when she needed help. I mean, she outsmarted. The the waif, and then yeah. she she could have killed him, yeah, but she didn't. Yep, and he was the one that pointed out like you didn't hate Sandor Cobain, you know, you yeah. wanted to, you wanted to say that he's dead, <laughs> but you couldn't do that either. So I don't know. It's interesting to see what, if anything will come of that. But I just love the idea that this little girl Arya Stark is now this badass assassin, and well, she's yeah. going for the queen. She's going for Cersei. Yeah, yeah, yeah. she's, <laughs> that, she's funny. doing them in order, too. Did I want her to go north first? Yeah, but she's in the Riverlands. I, I like how she said, uh, you know, <clears throat> you know, tell people what you saw today. The North remembers. Yeah. You know, winter has come. Winter has winter, come. I love for house, winter came for House Frey. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I love the wolf line, too. Wolf yeah. Line yes. good. You yes. leave one wolf, the sheep are never safe. That yep. is so good. Yeah, the Starks right. have been saying this shit forever. Everybody and it's finally before. coming true. And now that it's winter, everybody's fucked, right? <laughs> Except the the Tyrells, but they're looking for that bell. So, so. talking of winter, though, too, the Citadel, mm-hmm. that guy that had the whole like, well, a thousand years before we're here, a thousand yeah, years later we'll be here, all that kind of stuff. Like, it just it, it, there has to be something that happens because he's just like, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> That's the reason that happens. I let them start coming. You know? How many times in the episode did they say the wall has stood and whenever, you know has always stood? Yeah, I feel like you say that shit say and then you take your wall. Yeah, down. they say it and there's something that's gonna happen. I think yeah. he said the world. No, he said the wall because they didn't have the wall back then, right? Yeah, no, he Brandon said, the builder built the wall. Yeah, yeah. He, the archmaster. Yeah. He was like the wall stood then. The wall will stand. Now. I thought that was after yeah. the war, right? I thought they during the long night. The yeah. discussion, the, the construction of the long night. Yeah, it's Brandon the builder did that in the time of heroes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. I, all the talk of that just makes me feel, yeah, like it's not gonna stand. Yeah. Something's <laughs> yes. gonna happen. Either, maybe they never had giants before, you know? Like I yeah, don't know. Yeah, giant zombie. You know, like that was crazy. Three. That was crazy. Heck, even had at least three. Even those guys showed up too. Like we were saying about like, everyone showed up this episode. We, we even had everybody. Them, we know? got everybody. Bran, Bran made it to the wall. Oh yeah, yes. him. yeah. Two random kids show up to your door. You just start saying weird shit. Hi. Oh, man. <laughs> Do they always just go down and bring people come to the? I mean. I well, mean, I mean, if there's two. Yeah, I mean, they always have lookouts, so. Yeah. Yeah, I would imagine. They probably saw them coming, like, hey, look, they're coming to the door. Yeah. They probably get there, maybe there's a little bell. Ding, 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 ding. 
<laughs> doorbell. <laughs> you know, like a little rope they pull and dun, dun. and they go and like what? I want a scene now where that happens and they go and they open it and they're like what the fuck and the night king's like. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I got them. Very <laughs> good. Okay. Uh, so the Hound sees the the Night's King and, not the, he doesn't see the Night's King, but the Army of the Dead yeah. coming by a castle by the sea. Well, no, he, he saw he saw that there. Yeah. He saw them going by an Arrowhead Mountain. Yeah. That's what he well, saw it'd be, walking It would be Eastwatch by the sea, then. That's, that's because it's where the, the wall and the mountain meet the sea. It's like a natural barrier, I think. And that's where Torment is being sent, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Eastwatch. Yes. That's where he's going to be fighting. Okay. Will Brian but go the, with them? The I guys, Barrack. Barrack Dondarrion, yeah. And so if you have those guys with the followers with mm-hmm. the fire and fire's bad against them. Yeah. So that'd be good. They, maybe that's where they're going then, right? Well, I mean, is yeah. that is that that's what they're that's what they're seeing in the fire, so that's yeah. where they're heading? Yeah. I mean that's what they tend to do. Yeah. That's a good point. Yeah, looking fire more, man. They're, yeah, they'll both go there probably, you're right. It'd be Wait. cool to see everybody just there fighting together. Get Daenerys some dragons up there, yes. just holding them back as long as they can. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Lady Mormont had a kind of cool line again. Yeah, she's so yes, badass. I love her. Yes. You know what I love so the most awful. though? Davos looked at her like he looked at Sansa's yes. daughter. Yeah, and Shireen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, that it, was a good moment. Yeah. Seeing the Umber kid, yeah. the other one, and I'm like, man, they're just kids. How are they gonna yeah. lead? But then like, oh, well, you gotta. Like right. more mine. She's awesome. Yeah, so, like, right. Yeah, she's like the hardest man there. Yeah, <laughs> she is. Like I love she talks. We're like, <laughs> you love her comment about like, it's like, what, you want me to give a spear to my granddaughter? It's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? like, I don't need your permission to defend the North. Like, yeah. I love yeah. that line. Yeah, I love the the umber. I like the little detail. The umber boy. He had that cross guard that's kind of slanted with the circles at the end, mm-hmm. and that's what the we saw umber in the Battle of the Bastards use, and that's yeah. what Great John had. We well, got mm-hmm. his finger cut off, yeah. and when he, you know, he's the first guy, there's a king of the north. That's the same sword, I think. Yeah, but it's just a little smaller yeah, scale. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I just, I love the consistency. Yes. They had a conversation between Cersei and Jaime about their children. I don't like that Cersei said that. Well, Cersei, by definition, cannot find fault in herself. If she doubts herself, then she's lost already. So everything that goes bad, that's because of her. It's someone else's fault. Yeah, I hated that. Yeah. Just blaming her own son for dumping. I, I love though whenever she's like, "I'm queen of the seven kingdoms," and Jamie's like, three kingdoms at, at best." <laughs> yeah, I'm like, "Right? Yes, yeah. thank you." Because like the- even she started going like, "Every like the north is our enemies, to the west is our enemies, to the east is our enemies." I mean, south. exactly. Yeah. Who do you so have? What if they have the the Westerlands, with Castle Rock. Are they the- counting the Reach, or the the Tyrells in there? I don't know. Should they were they were doubting if they would join yeah. Daenerys, but I, I'm, I'm guessing they're counting. They're probably that. not like enemies, but yeah. they're probably like, well, they're not going to join us for a fight that we're losing. Yeah. Right? yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. Remember, like, uh, I don't know who the uh, maybe they were counting the phrase, but now they're all dead. Tyrell, that's the old lady, the right? Riverlands. Yeah, yeah. She at the end. Yeah, she, the river. Well, they lost those too. Yeah. Well, I don't. They don't have shit. You yeah. don't have the Tyrells because she was going to join. Remember at the end of last season? Yeah. yeah. And the whole marriage and thing and stuff. And now that's all gone. They don't got nothing. She just wants so revenge. So now, now they're trying to. Jo- she's trying to join with the. The Greyjoys, but she, yeah. well, she's not trying, but she wants to know that yeah, that guy's not trustworthy. I wouldn't trust no. him. No, no, you're so cavalier. You just rode on in there. Euron, yeah, but Euron's his name. Yeah, you're on Greyjoy. Okay. To have Euron. no loyalty even to Ken. Yeah, right. Like yeah. that. You should try it sometime. You, you, you killed your mother. It was, it was great. You should try it sometime, brother. 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 He was talking about like, try oh. sometime to Jamie. Oh. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I mean, we've heard this story before. That rebellion is why Theon was taken as a ward to, mm-hmm. to Winterfell. Yeah. That was the, the battle that Thuros, like, rushes in with his flaming sword. Back then it was just wildfire. And yeah. Little fire. <laughs> now he could actually do it. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, no, I love that they kind of bring up that battle. It was just big, yeah. one of the bigger battles oh, yeah. in history. Yeah. I like uh, that Jamie was like, they're not good at anything, Ironborn. They're sad, bitter little people who don't know how to do anything except steal things they can't grow or build themselves. <laughs> yeah, I'm so proud of that, too. I love it. I, see, I mean, a, a guy like Jamie, who's a Lannister, that comes from, you know, gold, you would think that way against pillagers, but the Ironborn, you know, they pay the iron price. They find pride in that. Yeah. It's just, it's cool to see in the warring thought processes. Different sides of it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I kind of line up with Jamie's thinking, I think. Yeah? <laughs> yeah a little bit, yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, obviously, if I'm going to go with a great Joe, I'm going with Theon and Yara. Yeah. Oh, Euron yeah. is, Euron, or I don't know how you're supposed to always say it, yeah. I just always read it, he's, 
He's interesting. It's an interesting adapt, adaptation. He's in the books. He's a little more, almost Captain Jack evil version. You know, here he. I, I still want to see more from the actor. I like the actor. The, the outfit was a little, a little rock star, little punk rock, little, little punk rock. But I can get yeah. behind that. A rock, yeah. Punk but rock, he rock said, star kind of thing. he said, you know, Cersei when she invited him, she knew he was going to propose. She said like marriage or you know, yeah, she for was a queen. queen. So she knew that she was going to. Decline. decline him, and then he was going to have to please her to try. Mm -hmm. You know, so she's so, making him. Yeah. She's making Wait, a. So making he's, more he's going to bring a priceless gift. A gift. Yes. Like, I, like trying to think of like what she would want. Tyrion's head yeah. does sound like the thing that she's been wanting anyway. John, come down and kneel. That's yeah, but thing. I don't think he's going to have any power there in the north. It's in the middle, right? Yeah. There's no water. He's going to have better from the water, which would sure. be at uh, Dragon's. Uh, Dragonstone. Stone. Dragonstone. Who are all the enemies? We got the north. We got the. Dorn, we got. I mean, no. there's a lot of ways you can go for. Dorn, Dorn, Dorn has aligned the themselves, water, right? Yeah, but they they've aligned themselves with Targaryens. Yeah, 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 because they were over. They were in the Armada. Armada. Blah blah. Varys went there. <laughs> the answer to that question might be a book spoiler. I don't know if they're going to go that way. There's a a noun. <laughs> a, a, there's a something that Euron has that would be very helpful right now. Uh, in the book, but they haven't said anything on the show. And I thought they were going to just kind of go the way of some other stuff, and just, eh, we just won't have that. But, I mean, it would fit pretty well in there, so, um, I don't know. Easy way out. Yeah, <laughs> so we'll, we'll see if they go with that direction, but I'm actually surprised that there's a book knowledge that's still, you know, oh, okay, they can oh, go Oh, there's that way. several things in the book that yeah. we have not hit, so, yeah. but... Um, I I'm curious on how long it's actually passed in the episodes. Yeah, because, yeah, like... The the Arya thing I feel like wouldn't have been too mm -hmm. long, although it might take a while to get everyone to come yeah. back and get notes out. But then like they built all the boats, which I feel like would have taken a long like, time. Like years. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like it little take, Sam. It wouldn't grew. take years because yeah. Daenerys did the same thing. Yeah. So and then I feel like it would have been about a year or so. Yeah. And then uh, how long it takes to go across the ocean? Mm -hmm. We've gone across the ocean now. So yeah. I mean that's like the main time frame. I feel like is. Her starting her journey yeah. across the ocean to ending her journey across the ocean, mm -hmm. but how long did that take? One of the yeah, I, I don't think it was it was actually the the crossing the ocean thing. I think the span of time was before she started crossing the ocean because in one scene, um, Varys was in Dorne mm -hmm. with uh, Lady Elena, and in the next scene he was on a boat yeah. traveling from mm -hmm. East. So, yeah. so yeah. I this think is the one of the things there. that last time we were like, how the hell did he get there so quick? It's yeah. we're not seeing everything that we're seeing isn't happening at the same exact well, time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but so like, the Arya scene could have happened months and months before the Jamie scene. Yeah. yeah. The, the John thing though felt like it went doo -doo, you know? which it very well could be. So yeah. that's why I'm just sometimes like trying to follow and then like things start happening yeah. and you're like, well, I thought this stuff was happening before sure. or after. Yeah. This is also so. where reading the book kind of goes and helps you. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Can't do it. I like. <laughs> I thought it was cool that Arya got to kind of see, obviously, there's good and bad on both sides, the good soldiers. Oh, yeah. They just offered that, yeah. this girl who was traveling alone. They're nice dudes, and man. And they didn't, they didn't look like they were trying to roof you over here. Yeah, try to yeah exactly. Up, you know, like, yeah. they offered her food first. Yeah. And, and they stuff. didn't want to be there either. Well, it makes sense why they're there. I mean, the the phrase were gone. There's no one to keep the, the queen's peace, so they send the Lancer men. Yeah. It makes sense why they're there, and they don't want to be there. It's cold as shit. Mm -hmm. oh, cause, yeah, um, for Gain, you get to kind of, you know, see how he's grown, his sense of justice, his morality system since he's been with the priest. Yeah, I like seeing yeah. the hounds like different. Like, he has some of my favorite. He's grown character development. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. Like him digging a grave and burying those. That I he, mean, think that about him. He killed. You know, yeah. I mean, season one, the butcher's boy, he yeah. rides down. You know, this one, he has remorse. He's sorry they're dead. He, I don't think he necessarily killed them. He stole their money. But he said that, I mean, in that episode, come winter, they'll be dead. You yeah. Know, that guy just but, was, didn't have I anything mean, to be Stealing dead. their money and stuff didn't help them be able to keep food on the table True. and keep fire going but and we all also, that kind of stuff, you know? We, he also had said uh, during back in that episode, uh, he couldn't find any hired men, and that's why he hired Clegane. So he had all this money to hire people and still couldn't do any harvesting. And he was an older man, he was devout. But Sandor knew then that it was going to happen. But the difference, the cool difference I find is that then it didn't seem like he had much remorse for it. Mm -hmm. Now he does. I thought he was actually going to go back in and kill them. He grabbed yeah. his sword in that episode, and Arya's like, no! Yeah. What? They're going to be dead by winter anyway. Mm -hmm. And 
yeah. decided to side with Arya, and now they're dead. They could have had a peaceful death. Sure. Yeah. Well, I like, like, back in, like, season one to two, I felt like the Hound, like, he was there for, like, Sansa. Mm-hmm. But it seemed like, for the most part, he just didn't care about anybody. But he seemed to kind of watch out for her. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then as it kept going, then he was, like, kind of watching out for Arya, kind of, but not really, but kind of. You know what I mean? Like, he yeah. was... He, I think he was definitely watching out for her. Oh, he's always been a guy that he's good at killing. He's not really good at much else. So whenever he doesn't have something to do, you know, Joffrey, he leaves Joffrey. I mean, he's just wandering around trying to find a place, you know, or just the next, next place to drink. <laughs> we <laughs> want to be a sellsword out east, yeah. in Esos. The, you know what? The cool thing about this I found with the grave digging is that uh, this, uh, and this is just for book readers, I guess, but this went down very differently, Sandor, right? We don't even know Sandor's back well, in, in the book. In the, but in the book, he's on his, he's a on his theory, this, right? In the book, he's on uh, Brienne is on an island and talks to a priest, and he talks about how he took care of Sandor Clegane, and then he died. Mm-hmm. And then there's this giant guy digging graves with, a, like, a limp. And the title of the t- uh, chapters is actually Grave Digger. Yeah, so, <laughs> uh, like, a, a big theory is that people think that, yeah, Sandor died, and then he was re- reborn... As a Same kind of way, like a like priest, the mountain yeah, is like now. Uh, yeah. uh, what's his name? What's his new Robert name? Robert Strong is. Uh, they've always said it here, but yeah. The, um, big, the big giant yes. night guy. Yeah. 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 So anyway, I, I just love that they brought in imagery of that theory, the grave digger. Yeah. I don't know if that was intentional or not, but if it was, a genius. And also, he saw the the fire, like the vision in the fire. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's kind of cool. Mm-hmm. We talked about that. Yeah. It is neat. Him. Like I, I liked his little line though with that with. Like, I would be stuck with fire worshippers. Yes. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah, he's like, like that. Poor guy. He said, there's divine justice, you be dead, and the little girl would still be yeah. alive. Yeah. yeah. I love the uh, the new Queensguard armor. It's all black, black now instead of white. You know, oh, so that's that? what her outfit is. Yeah. But, Rob, uh, fucking, the mountain looks so good. Yes. Oh, you know what? There was a part, whenever he was talking about Eastwatch looking at the fire, and he's like, a mountain. I was like, shit. Quick game ball. Right. For a second, I was like, I want those For a second. two to fight. But then he was like, shaped like an arrowhead. I'm like, fuck. Okay. <laughs> Here's I, good. I, was, I also enjoyed watching uh, Brienne with uh, Pot. Mm-hmm. And then uh, Tormund. Tormund. Yeah. Yes. He's showing up. Those uh, hungry eyes. I really like him. I'm interested to see like what happens with them going to watch the East. Hopefully everything's... They got man the castles. Good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I have you seen, sh- seen the show, Aaron? I know. I know. That's what I'm saying. But... Uh. Here's something. Why was the Valerian steel knife that we saw in season one in the book? That, that curved specific knife one. was the one that Littlefinger gave to the assassin, said it was Tyrion Lannister's, and originally came from Rob Baratheon because it was part of the Targaryen horde. When so it's an old it. knife? It's an old knife. So it's, it's in there, but it was around the time they were talking. He's talking about looking for, like, dragonglass stuff, right? Yeah. Well, Valyrian steel, isn't it? Capable of- I mean, it, it is, but I, I just thought it was interesting. Like, it, it's, it looked like the same exact knife. It's just an interesting little an almost, almost cameo of, you know, that's the thing that was trying to kill Bran, you know? Yeah. I wonder if they bring that back. I don't know. Because that was always, you know, that was, George R. R. Martin talked about that, how he wished he hadn't made that a Valyrian steel knife. He's like, why would a common assassin have that? I should have not done that. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. I just didn't think about it yet. So... It's interesting that it's coming back as like a focal point. I mean, he could have stolen it. Yeah. And that, there could be a story in there that they're maybe he's gonna, maybe George R. R. will do it, but maybe not. But yeah. maybe the show will take sure. a different story route with, hey, this is why, yeah. why it was there and what happened to it. Maybe it got stolen from somewhere else too, or something. I don't know. Um, Georgia, Jorah, <laughs> Georgia, <laughs> Jorah. That's the thing too. Jorah got there yeah. after leaving Daenerys. He was sent away a while ago. Yeah. Yeah. It would make mean, sense that he would know to go to Old Town. I mean, that's the place of. Greatest study of medicine yeah. and everything. But are they helping him or are they just going to... We know away? that it wasn't cured. It was stopped with Stannis' daughter. Yeah. But that was a child. Yeah. You know, men die and he does not look too great. No, his no, does worse than ever. I just don't want him to see all fucked up later, man. Well, my thing is, if Sam is walking around the restricted section, does he find something that helps, maybe? I mean, he's, they, they've already met him. He's in a place of knowledge. That well, don't they've like established that. those two characters together now. Like, I wouldn't that touch be. that fucking bowl, man. Yeah. I know, right? He was probably... Dude, what if all those people in there Grayscale? have Grayscale? That's a good point. Maybe that's why he's so worried every time he goes in about someone grabbing him, because he doesn't want to get touched. 
well, that's the isolation true. ward. Yeah. But I mean, it seems like I imagine George's there on his own volition, right? I mean, it looked like a prisoner. <laughs> Yeah, but he could just be quarantined because he has grayscale. He's yeah, like, please but help I'm me. Saying, if, if that whole yeah. ward is all people with grayscale, they could just be that they're, they're working with. Yeah. Maybe that's why he's afraid every time he's grabbing bowls that someone's yeah. going to reach out and grab him. Now he has grayscale. Sure. Maybe he entered into like a study. Right. That's how it passes by, right? It's being yeah. touched. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Fuck that, man. Yep. That'd be awful. I want to touch that fucking bowl. I mean, they, <laughs> they, they like, use up a spoon. Yeah. Like, <laughs> That's how Stannis' daughter... I stick my hand in that shit instead of touching that bowl. Stannis' daughter got it just from the doll. Well, she had a yeah, you know? right. face press against the oh, yeah. yeah. Um, <clears throat> Bran, remember last season, had a mark given to him by the Night's King that destroyed the magic from the, the tree, and that's why the Whites could enter it. Because before then, they would just get to there and explode. But once he crossed well, it... The handprint, the right? Hand that he grabbed. The mark, yeah. yeah. Once he crossed it, they could cross it. I wonder if something similar happens with the wall. I mean, is there is there there a magical element that keeps the wall up? Uh, There is, not necessarily in the show. Um, They haven't like went into it. I mean, the the, the wildlings are always coming through, but the wildlings are not the Night Watch. Yeah, yeah. The the uncle talked about it. When? Uh, when they saw him, he said he Benjen. Yeah, he said he can't go to the wall because there's magic. Okay. Yeah. I was thinking of a specific scene that. Uh, because when Bran crosses the wall, he needs Sam to do it because the only member of the Night's Watch can let you go through. Mm-hmm. You know, so I, I, I don't know. Okay, so it, it's there. It's just not as defined, maybe. So if there's some kind of magical element there, if there is that mark, if it destroys magical things, it could maybe destroy like a seal or something that keeps the wall standing. Um, so in the book, there's no wildlings ever get across the raid. No, they would. Like I said, it was always kind of ill-defined. Something is there, but you could go across it. Sam took Bran through it. Mm -hmm. Like, he actually passed through the ice. I think there's a difference. Okay. So, Like going through that tunnel, you had to have a uh, night's watch take you through? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe it's a formality. Maybe. Yeah, and and the scene in the book, it was not a formality. It was clearly magic. There could be much more to it that made it just... In the show, they just haven't sure. discussed, and maybe there won't be too much of that there. Yeah. I don't know. Or maybe Benjen's thing was more about, I don't know, maybe he was being half and half, mm-hmm. right? Maybe mm-hmm. he has to be in a cold yeah. element thing, and now that winter's coming and stuff and pushing down, maybe now he can sure. get I don't, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know really what's... In the, in the scene that Shane mentioned before, he was saying, Benjen was saying, like, there's things in the wall that... I think he said something like keep people like me from from going south yeah. mm-hmm. something like that so i think it's specifically for like whites and walkers but Maybe. could that be broken with the nice king as well yeah if bran stays there will it do it or know. if he goes all the way through will if it he goes all the way used? through and then wargs that and then works? maybe maybe when he wargs and then the knight's king wargs to him mm-hmm. maybe that's how it breaks maybe i don't know mm. like he has a connection that he can breach the, the fucking mm-hmm. harry potter yeah Just don't worry yeah. Don't work anything. Stop it. Well, stop, stop it. <laughs> hey, um, now that I'm watching this, the uh, Sir Royce from The Veil, vale, the guy with the big breastplate. Yeah. Is that the guy from the Sothene episode of Doctor Who? Yes. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Oh, yes, it yeah. is. Yeah. I'm looking, I was like, son of a bitch. <laughs> I didn't even recognize him. <laughs> I, th- I think him. I mentioned that. Did you? Didn't I? Okay, I don't think. I don't. I just wrote it down. I was like, I son of a bitch. That's <laughs> it. Ah, uh, okay. Theory time. John said he will not punish a son for the father's sins. Would he not also... He's not going to punish Daenerys for the sins of the Mad King, then. (gasps) No. So I could... And if he needs Dragonglass... Yeah. That's the thing I want. I want those two to get together because... Yeah, I want them to get together. (laughs) Sam talking about the Dragonglass being at Dragonstone. If he has to go down there and then make some kind of alliance... Yeah. Like, would she ally herself with Jon because she wants the main throne, Right. She like would they, definitely I don't think herself. John's not going to care for that. He just wants to keep the North. He wants to keep people safe. Yeah. He doesn't care to be king. Yeah. I feel like they could ally, ally themselves with each other, and then she becomes the queen of he, King's Land. He also, I, I honestly don't think he even cares to be king. No. Mm-hmm. He cares to unite the North to protect yeah. him from well, the White Walkers. When you had Sansa being like, you're a good ruler, he's like, no. Yeah, you know, it's not something he wants to do. He didn't want to yeah. be... Uh, he's the perfect ruler. He didn't want to be the commander at the yeah. wall. You know, He didn't want to do that. He's just been doing it because no one else understands and no one else will take yeah. the charge to do what needs to be done. Yeah. I, I always, I mean, to, to put it in the context of, like, you know, our, our lives, I always said the person that should be president 
does not want to be president. Yeah. <laughs> you know, John should, he doesn't want to be king. That's why he should be king. He's also got like the greatest lineage there is. Yeah. Stark Targaryen. She's, she's his aunt, you know? Oh. I still want the bang. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Seems weird. Uh, okay, so oh, right. I can see that definitely happening. <laughs> We're going to get something there. He loved the other chick, though, remember? Huh? He loved the other chick. The Grit? The Grit. He, the, the she, yeah, she, he didn't bang the red woman. He's like, yeah, but... That's different. He's like, I still loved her. I even though she was dead, yeah, but I still love her. But she's going to try... Hey, to... wait. Yeah. Where's she? She went south. Yeah. Well, we haven't seen her. We didn't see her. Nope. We didn't see everybody this episode. God, Eric, damn it. I thought lie. you didn't think of it. <laughs> Okay, um, I, I got a lot of notes. I'm just going to try to go through them a little quicker. We talk about Game of Thrones so much. Um, love the fact that Ned Stark was mentioned like at least eight times this episode. Oh my gosh. Ned, all what the way back in season name, one. Ned? Yeah. Yes. Ned it's, a, it's a common Ed. name in the North. It's a name for your lord. Like Aaron. Ed. Yeah. I mean, think it's of, of Lord Commander Ed. Common man. Yeah. Eddard, Eddard, probably. Mm-hmm. That's not but Eddard. Eddard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then Rob was going to name his son Eddard. I mean, yeah. That makes more sense, but... They do, they, they do that. There's a lot of Roberts. There's a lot of that kind of stuff, depending on I who's mean, in power. Eddard's first son was named Rob. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Robert. And then Robert Aaron. Little shit. Fuck. Yeah. King Robert. Oh. Robert Strong. Okay. Yeah, um, so anyway, I, I thought that was uh, cool seeing, like, all the way back in season one. He's still, his influence is still in the show. Yeah. Um, I like the imagery of Sam weighing a heart, you know? Yeah. We, yes. we just saw American Gods weighing a heart to a feather in the Egyptian mythos. And he is, like, in that scene trying to see if someone will actually believe him, you know? Mm-hmm. I wonder if there's any kind of, like, imagery or attention there, or if it's just a fun coincidence and I overthink things yeah. way too much. There's, <laughs> there's, like, Sam's heart yeah. weighing on him. Yeah. yeah. That kind of thing. Be real heavy. <laughs> uh, Cersei uh, said that her children were now ashes. When yeah. I hear that, I immediately think of Tyrion and his threat. Saying like when your you joy think will you're finally turn. happy, yeah. your joy will turn to ashes in your mouth. I wonder if that's intentional. Because if it is, that's really great yeah. callback. And they lost all their kids now. All of them, right? Because yeah. they had four, three, three. Mm-hmm. The two boys and the girl, right? Yeah, they had Joffrey, Tommen, and, and Marcella. Uh, Marcella. I was thinking it was a third boy for some reason. No, I don't know why. She had a third, uh, a, another boy, but it was Roberts. Remember, she said he was Brown black, hair. black hair, oh, or whatever. Oh, okay. yeah. is that where yeah. it came from? Okay. Well, died. Yeah, it's back in season one. That's how we know. Robert Aaron was onto something. He found all the bastards. They all have black hair, but these three children don't. You know. Yeah. That's so. why all the bastards are dead. Yeah. <laughs> Except one. Hopefully. Um. Yeah, we didn't see Genji. You fuck Eric. That. There's another one we didn't see. <laughs> I was kind of thinking, will we see Genji in Dragonstone? Because that's where he left from. And then everybody left, and he just fucking sails in a circle, comes right back. Yeah. I told you he's been oh, they he's open been that door. He's on the throne. Like, oh shit! Smoking <laughs> 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 weed. <laughs> it'd be great if it'd be great if all their boats somehow found him. Yeah. Yeah. Coming around or something. Uh, Dragonstone Gate should open the opposite direction. No. Yes. Not if it's a trap. Yeah. Because that that bridge they went on was mm-hmm. so small. You let your armies come on through that. You, now they're you just, don't do that. They're just trapped and bottlenecked. No, you have a door that they can get through, and then when they do, then you do that. Well, no, they don't want to have to fix that door every time. Right? <laughs> well, yeah. it's probably this door opens, and then they have another gate up there that has the properly yeah. opening no, door. Yeah. No, yeah, you let them in, and then they're kunk, and then it's kunk, and they can't push, and they, they can't ha- push, and they're yeah. trapped, and you fuck them. Not like what? Not not not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, it just reminded me of the design from uh, the Two Towers, where John Howe, he's design, he's looking at the design for Hell's Deep, and it has this curved wall like this, and he's like, "I love the design." You got to curve the wall the other way. And I'm like, "Why?" And he's like, "Because archers will then be able to shoot at any point. And yeah. Over here, they can't mm-hmm. shoot at any point." Yep. That's and cool. Like, oh, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. And so I was thinking about that whenever I saw the doors going the wrong direction. I love that an artist gave architects yeah. a better idea. Oh, he's an expert in medieval yeah. uh, technology, too. So, The Dragon Pit was mentioned. A dragon pit, the Dragon Pit yeah. is a King's Landing uh, feature. It's where the Targaryens used to keep, obviously, the dragons. dragons. Um, <gasps> it's one of the reasons the dragons got so small. Keeping them inside, they didn't grow as they large. They didn't grow big. So. That's why Drogon was always bigger than yeah, uh, Viserion. The, and the other two were left and, inside that little yeah. 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 dragon pit, pretty much. It was, yeah, they kept but, uh, them inside because they were going... Now he's big. I thought it was interesting. They, they, they mentioned it twice and didn't really need to. 
So I wonder if that's something that we'll, we'll meet this. They mentioned it twice? Yeah, well, he said it. He was just at the fire, right? Yeah, he was at the fire, but he said it like back to back Dragon Pit, Dragon Pit, yeah. while he was saying Red Keep and the other stuff. So I'm like, I wonder if they intentionally threw that in there because we might be visiting something like that. It makes sense know. if we're going to have Daenerys and hmm. this kind of dragons coming to Westeros. We yeah, visit maybe. a landmark that had One of the seen. three highest points in King's yeah. Landing is the Red Keep, yeah. the. Uh, Sept of Baylor mm-hmm. and then the Dragon Pit. And it was completely destroyed. Yeah. So the people just came and rioted and killed the dragons. Yeah. yeah. And there's a lot of people because the dragons killed a lot of them. <laughs> but there were so many, they just swarmed them. Like. Um, World War Z zombies. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I like the little mention that Daenerys was actually born at Dragonstone. Yeah. She's actually called Daenerys Stormborn because she was born when there was this great lightning storm. At Dragonstone, so I mean, she literally is home. This isn't a place she's never been. Like when no. she feels when she feels that sand, and I mean, this is where I was born. When when they yeah. were in that scene, one of you guys were like, "Man, it's been seven seasons finally." Yeah. I'm like, "Yeah, but when was it that she was like over here last? Like, how long has it been since she's been in?" She Westeros? was a baby. Yeah. yeah. Like she was a, she was born. And she was very 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 young. Yeah. I mean, born you, sent off for safety. Viserys <laughs> was waiting for so long. She doesn't even remember her older brother. Yeah. And she had to ask, uh, oh. uh, what's my favorite Barrison. character, Calvin? Bar- Barrison. <laughs> she had to ask Barrison about him. He liked to see. I like the guy. Oh. Barrison Selmy. Rhaegar? No. Um, Who? okay, that's... Her older brother. That's all my specific notes. I just wanted to suck this show's dick a little bit because <laughs> th- it was just so on point. Like, the cinematography, the composition, the writing, the dialogue. Did you have a? Was there a single scene in here that I was you weren't enraptured with? I loved every scene. Yeah. I mean, it's also because it was a long fucking wait. True. Yeah. yeah. But I, I, yes, it was I amazing. Bias. And now we get six more weeks of it. We do. <laughs> the little finger scene. The little fingers. Even that was yeah. Sansa's. Urn. Sansa. <laughs> Sansa carried that badass. scene Her, so much. She pissed me off though with she did, undermining yeah. in the middle mm-hmm. of a thing like this should be. Not here. In another room somewhere or something. Yeah. You know? Like, even if you have to interrupt the... the, the... We'll be right back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was worried that that was going to be a thing that we're going to do this season. I feel slightly better when she reassured him how good of a leader he is, and it yeah. felt very sincere. Yeah. I mean, she... I, I, I think, think that, that she's worried. I think that she's coming off the high of being like, I saved everybody. Yeah. Like, the only reason we're here is because I brought the veil. Yeah, you know. So I, I, maybe there's something there where she's like, "Well, I should. You should listen to me. I know shit. I've gone my entire life. People not listening to me." Yeah. Well, you know? plus little I, fingers there underneath her yeah, and yeah. like pushing her is like, yeah. you know, you have this opportunity here. And John shouldn't underestimate the South, even though that's not his focus. Yeah. Yeah. No, true. I hope but, that that the fact that she called the Knights of the Vale and that she saved everyone, I hope that doesn't like. Mm-hmm. Encourage her to keep like yeah. pushing and questioning and and undermining John, because I mean yeah she was right, but also he wasn't wrong. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I think that ultimately I don't know what's going to happen because Littlefinger is there. She's going to side with John and she's going to deny Littlefinger everything he does. Yeah. I think so. I Hopefully. totally believe it. I'm hope they work that out. Yeah, there's a part of me that wants to say, like, well, story wise, wouldn't it be more interesting? No. Mm-mm. She's earned mm-hmm. what we've she had that all this yeah. time. Yeah. We've had we them together. Yeah. We don't want to start getting Season together. Season one, separate. she's been cowed upon. Yeah. Like, tortured and sure. molested and shit. <laughs> yeah. Enough. Yeah. Fucking Ed Sheridan had more lines than Rick Allen ever did. Right? <laughs> the whole series. <laughs> okay, uh, that's a long discussion, and we need to take some questions. Yeah, we do. Uh, you guys, ha- Yeah, I forgot all about it. Guys, this is going to be a long video, but you know what? We waited a long time, and we didn't do that one Q&A we said we were going to, so we'll go ahead and do some questions now. All righty. Um, let's see. Mark YB, do you think that the Night's King didn't really pursue Bran and Mira because he needs Bran to pass through the wall. Ooh. That makes sense. Shane was talking about like, is, are they slow? Or are they fast? Or I mean, they're kind of going at their own pace. Um, I mean, they're only as fast as their slowest white. True. Right? Well, yeah. I was gonna say, Some like, of them don't have, even have legs. When you have like a big army, that's gonna move slower than like one person just trying to go. There's also yeah. the the theory that do they need extreme cold, or does extreme cold come with them? So like, you know, if they can't come until winter because they haven't come since, you know, yeah. so. Maybe they have to wait for the extreme temperature to come. I don't know. Maybe I mean, not. maybe yeah. 
maybe it's kind of a thing like we did in American Gods where like she needs it cold. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or she, they fall apart. Yeah. Maybe. But it's a, it's a good idea that he's driving him there and brains, brains being manipulated. Yeah. It's just part of his plan. Because they yeah. shared a vision at one point. That's didn't they? they did. Yeah. Yeah. That'd, be, that'd be very possible. Um, CJ says, so we don't get a Stark reunion, but no. do you think Arya will succeed in her mission? To no. kill the queen? To kill the queen? No. No. I think she'll definitely try. See, the thing is, is Arya is so badass, and I actually was... Th- that scene with the Lannisters was the first time ever in a scene like that that I was like, oh, shit, these poor guys. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I was always, I've always been scared for the one person, but Arya just... If she, I, I imagine if they attacked her or something, she'd be ready. Well, yeah. None of them had swords. I thought that maybe she was thinking about just killing just them killing anyway. Them. Yeah. Like yeah. she did after the Red Wedding. Yeah. She killed Frey, man. So. I feel like Arya's journey has all the signs, storytelling-wise, of someone who will fail. Kind of. Like, I, you know, her journey... You yeah, know, everything's kind of working out for her right now. Oh, she's she's going like, to heroically go, you know, down south. Yeah, yeah. There's, nothing, there's nothing heroic about it. I it's see pure her, vengeance. I see her more so getting sidetracked, seeing that Cersei's going to fail on her own and yeah. sidetrack and get to Daenerys. <laughs> I, I just know. hope she goes to King's Landing and Gendry's just there. You're like, eh, I made it. Yeah. I feel like <laughs> <laughs> I've been here for like years. <laughs> We're waiting. <laughs> we talked before about uh, who was the one that killed a grip? A greet. Oh, that little, that little guy. Uh, with the, uh, the little butcher. shit that oh, we yeah. all hate. We like it used to be a joke that we called him Batman, right? Oh, it starts with an O. I mean, Ollie. Oh, Ollie. Ollie. Like I feel like I feel like Arya is more the Batman of the, of like this. Like she lost everything, you know. Yeah. And she was had to go away and hide out and learn from like assassins and yeah. stuff. You I know, think she's the Edmund Dantes or something. I don't know. <laughs> you know, she's just taking like, everything. I feel like she could. I feel like she. I feel like she could succeed. Like who else could kill Cersei and who would be a good person to kill Cersei? My theory is Jamie. I want Jamie to do it. Yeah, Jamie. I've ever Queen since Star, I saw okay. his face when she was on the throne after he came back from mm-hmm. the twins, or not yeah. the twins, the uh, the Riverlands. Yeah, the Riverlands yeah. after the the daughter and everything. Yeah, I mean maybe you could have like she goes and attempts and it comes close, but seriously stops and is about to kill Arya, and then you have Jamie save her. Yeah, you know, knowing like all the stuff she's done, maybe she says something there and it catches him and he just. I mean, he loved this. Awesome. He, he loved his father. I mean, he didn't know that uh, Tyrion was going to kill him, but he still loves his brother. Yeah, mm-hmm. I know. So, Can Arya take the mountain's face? Because that would be hardcore. Oh, Holy my God. She transformed the mountain. <laughs> no, she, she became she Cersei. Get what if she became Cersei? Oh, my Ooh. gosh. That would be pretty cool. Ooh. That would be. And then Jaime kills her. Ew. Dang oh. it. <laughs> <laughs> What's next, Aaron? Um, that would be crazy. Jamie's on her list, isn't he? Jamie, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think it's Cersei. Uh, Caleb said, does Sam know that Jon is not at the Wall, but actually in Winterfell? I don't know. He very well could be. I mean, the Citadel is the hub of all knowledge. Yeah. 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 They well, train and give ravens to people. Sometimes they get information so quick from different things. I'm like, man, they know this stuff already? Yeah. 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 But I mean, the it's Cid- hard to tell time-wise. What yeah. That and the Citadel probably knows, but Sam... Sam might not know. Probably doesn't know crap. <laughs> he he seems, knows crap, yeah. but not crap. It wouldn't surprise me if he just knew it. So, I, I don't know. Um, James Hagen said, uh, thinking about the prince that was promised, John's mom's last words were, promise me Ned. Mm-hmm. Uh, just, and he was born under the star of the, the, the dawn of the, the, the sword of the morning, mm-hmm. which had a star in its hilt. So, I mean, there's, there's imagery there that he could be the prince of promise. I personally don't. I, I think that Martin specifically throws out prophecies and then counters them. I think that he creates gods and makes you think, oh, maybe all the gods are wrong but the red god. And then he's like, no, it's just magic. (laughs) (laughs) It's just fuckers thinking that it's it's, it's this, you know? You can't see anything in the fire. Um, I think this is, James also said, uh, so do you think the hound will learn the fire sword to be able to kill his own brother? Oh. (laughs) Like, would the mountain be considered a white that can be killed with fire? I don't know. I mean, it was more... Science than magic, even though mm-hmm. Kyburn does do like, he yeah, has I don't some think kind he's of a he has some mystic sciences. Yeah. Which I wouldn't think he's a white or anything, but I mean, if you have a magic fire sword, I'm sure it's gonna be better than just a regular yeah. sword. I, I always <laughs> wonder though, is there a connection between John and Beric Dondarrion and someone like the mountain and the whites? I mean, it all it all is necromancy at the end of the day, yeah, true. I wonder 
see, then that would make the Hound more of the Batman character mm-hmm. because he's taking what he fears the most and yeah. using it to scare other people. That would be cool. <laughs> well, one interesting thing about the Fire Visions in general is they've always been about the North. Mm-hmm. So whatever force does that is an opposite force of the Night's King. We know that at least. Yeah, true. Uh, Shannon said, anyone else crying at John being addressed as your your grace? No? <laughs> Just me? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Is she crying or something yeah, else? She's <laughs> crying with joy. What gift do you think slash hope you're on is planning to bring Cersei? Um, I have a a theory uh, from the book. I don't know if I want, I want to say it in case it does happen. Okay. But, I mean, it's not necessarily a. It, I guess it is kind of a spoiler. If it hasn't so. happened yet and it's something else, it could be. A yeah. Spoiler. I do know well, about it. Okay. Just because of I've heard people talking, sure. but. Um. They also said there in that scene that we did not address, uh, Jamie did say, how are we supposed to feed all of our people? Mm-hmm. So maybe just food. Something as it easy as tons of food. It could be that. Uh, I guess the only thing I'd say about it is it, it could be an object rather than a person or the head of someone. <laughs> yeah. We've already seen people trying to fake the heads of Tyrion. <laughs> they, <laughs> dwarf put, <laughs> they cut his face. There you go. <laughs> it's not, not nice, him. But... Damn it. Well, you notice. I'll find another dwarf. <laughs> I haven't thought yet, dwarf head for so long. Remember that? Still do. Still do. Yeah. It's got two heads. It's the ultimate weapon. I would hate to be a dwarf and be killed like that for something stupid. Um, one thing I wrote down and I forgot to mention, the song that's playing when Daenerys comes back is not her normal theme. Uh-huh. You know what theme it is? It's her, Drogo and Danny's love theme. Mm-hmm. Which is an interesting choice. Why play the love theme of Drogo, Cal Drogo, when she comes back? And I was I just kind of thinking about it, like, he promised to bring her back to Westeros. Yeah. yeah. So that's, I don't know, it's kind of a really cool, subtle thing the composer threw in there. Huh. Yeah. He, was pro- like, he promised to give her her throne. Yeah. Back. Yeah. Yeah. And she would give him the stallion that mounted the world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I was just thinking about that, like, this is a theme we have not heard for a long time. And I remember it being played whenever it was... Their love scenes, so really, really interesting choice. I loved it. Yeah, I only recognized it because I've been going back through yep. with Rick. Here's one that's to Calvin. Okay. Agent seventy nine said, Calvin, what is the best way to weaponize the dragon glass? Swords, arrows, bombs, or spoons? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you have a spoon in your pocket, you're never unarmed. <laughs> True. You always have something to eat. But I would say some kind of a bouncing Betty kind of thing, like yeah. a like a, a spring mine that would disperse shrapnel. That'd be hard to make in this. It would be. Time frame, but yeah. <laughs> I know. Could you make? See, I want to say swords for everybody because then you just have a sword, you just cut them down. Well, dragon glass is very brittle. Yeah. So, so maybe making a lot of arrowheads would be better. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Be yeah. Arrowheads would be better. You got to make it Valerian steel. <laughs> well, Valerian steel was forged with dragon fire. Yeah. So. It now, because all yeah. the little tiny folds. There are ways of infusing metal with other elements, like carbon. That's sure. how we get carbon steel. Could you infuse it with dragon glass? It would be super cool. It would make it like a black Damascus. You know what I would do? Look. Wildfire dragon glass sharpnel grenades. Yes. Sharpnel? Sh- shrapnel. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> shrapnel grenades. Crumble it up. Throw it in like... there. Mix the stuff up. Through. <laughs> That's no, that would do. work. That, that would do it. They need to to make some sort of dragon or uh, yeah, dragon's fire, um, like Molotovs for one, but yeah. also napalm. Napalm. Well, if they do have dragons, I guess they yes. just do that. I mean, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, like when they were making these swords of dragon fire, what they had to do? They just have the. It's a way of purifying the metal. You purify the metal, to get, you know, to get rid of impurities in the metal, but it's so hot that it makes just the purest ore. It, and it then burns you, away yeah. everything else. So what they did was they made these these what do you call them ingots of ore, and then you can make weapons out of those. And they yeah. know some. Uh, they had the dragons just yep. blow fire on it. Yeah, they had just in like Valeria. They had these giant like engines where the dragons would like just. They had volcanoes. And Forges. Shit and, yeah. yeah. Anyway, anything else, Aaron? Yeah, there's so many. I'm just trying to go through. I gonna still be hold that the throne is made of of uh, Valyrian steel because it was forged there's, by the fire yeah. of. That would be interesting. I, mean, you, I remember Calvin's. Uh, you had that theory, and it kind of flowed that like two 
save the realm. You have to destroy this fucking chair. Everybody's trying to go for it. Everybody's yeah. trying to get. <laughs> yeah, that'd be interesting. There's got to be something in there. I mean, Valyrian steel is very, very rare and held in very high regard. Yeah. But that was when Aegon the Conqueror came. It was 300 years ago. I can see a couple of them thrown in there. There's at least Gandalf's sword in there. Yes. <laughs> at least get that. It glows in orcs in isn't it? <laughs> not to... Uh... Glamdring. Yeah, Glamdring does too. Sting does it. Glamdring also does it, but the, for some reason the, in the in the movies, movies they, they never had it up because they were like sister swords. Orcist, Glamdring, and then because they were made by the elves. And Sting. So Ned's sword got broken down into what Brianna now has. Yeah. Didn't Joffrey uh, have one? Joffrey had one, and Brienne had one. So yeah. where's Joffrey's sword now? We assumed that it went to Tommen, and now we have no idea. Uh, maybe Jamie, maybe. The I last time we idea. saw it was when uh, Jamie gave Bran Oathkeeper. Sure. It was in the relic room. Yeah. Yeah, so, and then she tried to give it back to him. Mm-hmm. And then he said, it's yours. Yeah, at the, at the siege of the... That you're on two-hand jab. <laughs> Fuck that guy. <laughs> we were all waiting for it. Yeah. So. There's a couple... I'm, I'm going to say these as like a common... Because there's a couple of these that are fairly common. Some sure. people want to know who we think is going to be the first person to die. To die? The That's going to be character? like an impactful... Not like all the phrase just dying, which is probably going to be an impact against, yeah, you know, King's Landing and stuff. But do we? Someone, some of them were like, I think Tormund may be the first one because he's already going to the east, and we know that the Walkers are coming to the east. Maybe. But you also have the Hound in them going to the east. So I'm, one of them. I could see Tormund, but I wouldn't say first because Night's King stuff wouldn't happen. Episode two, I don't think. I'm so I'm kind of worried. Six or seven. I'm kind of worried about about Beric. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because now the Lord of Light has the Hound. True. Or on the flip side. You take out Thoros, and now he can't be brought back. Maybe. <laughs> I don't want that. I don't, I don't want that, that either. I don't want that guy as top nut. Yeah. Top nut. I'm kind of going in a complete different direction, and I hate that I'm saying this, but Arya. Yeah, I was going to say Arya's it, too I was like, OP I right now. That. She's OP. And I don't want her to just... die. I want, she may be taking down a peg and be like, oh, man, I better go get some <laughs> friends. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right? Arya yeah. makes sense. The Lannisters, I feel like they're... They're not going to die for a while. Well, I also mm-hmm. kind of feel like, compared to, like, I think they're less important to like the huge story now because they're not doing really anything. Like John trying to defend the North, yeah. he's already died once. They're fighting the battle like, again. No Daenerys isn't going to die yeah. for a while. Yeah. I want to. I want to say just because of uh, the, them wanting to like keep people safe and protect and whatnot. I want to say Brienne. Yeah. No. Thank. She, I like not. she's she's very caring. She wants to be there for Sansa. You know, she made the promise and all that stuff well, about keeping daughters safe. She doesn't know where Arya went. Right. Tormund would. Go crazy. Well, right? she'll probably die You're with Cormon. They'll probably go to the east together yeah. and just die in each other's arms. <laughs> that uh, arm. <laughs> and then another educated guess maybe Jora. Yeah, I thought yeah. that was oh, yeah, kind of about him. So. It takes years, I thought. Uh, it's well, been it's, a while. It's, it's been at least a year. Yeah. I mean, then, it's spread quite a bit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Another common one was what was your favorite like scene in this opening episode? The, op- oh. the opening was good. Like, what was your like? What was your like? Was the phrase your favorite? Was her coming back to Dragonstone? See, I, there's there's the phrase. so many. The phrase. Uh, I really like uh, uh, Lana Mormont. <laughs> yeah, it was yeah. so fucking good. I can't pick just one, but if I forced can't. to, if forced to, it might have the edge of the grave digging scene. I loved that scene. That was good. That, that was, was good. that the him phrase. like the the, the hound like. Knowing, like, I should probably say something, and then he starts saying, and he's like, "Oh, I don't know what I'm saying." Yeah. And then he's just honest. Yeah. Sorry, you're dead. You deserve better. And he, and he just leaves. Throws his <laughs> now gets the hell out of there. Yep. So honest, I love it. So earnest. Yeah. And I, I I'm about to say, <coughs> Jamie had my favorite lines. Yeah. yeah. Jamie was yeah. the, you know, the Ironborn. Yeah. I think I like sad, bitter little people. <laughs> I think yeah. I like the Dragonstone. Just because, like, it was just there was no talking. It was so yes. monumental. The way the way it did it, like, it was such a big moment that they just didn't even have any conversation. Yeah. Like, um, what's her name? Stopping Grey Worm. Masanda. Masanda. Yeah. yeah. Like she just stopped. Like, hey, this up. is her. She's need. She needs <laughs> this. You know, like that kind of stuff was like I liked. I liked that. I like that Tyrion and followed then, her. Yeah, and then there's like, one, mm-hmm. not close. one sentence. I yeah. know, and the sentence Shall was perfect for it. this first episode. Yeah. Because we've been waiting for this. The first episode. We've been waiting for this. Way to start. I know. So fucking long. Yeah. I, last night, I said it before, but last night, because we, we, last year we watched these Sunday night. Mm-hmm. Now we're watching them Monday morning. Mm-hmm. I just laying in bed with my arms crossed, like, I just feel my phone 
full of the information of people wanting to hear about and talk about. <laughs> yeah. like, yeah. Well, people are like, you're going to stream before you watch it? <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, well, it's, what's the timing? It's all yeah. I can do. And like, what is it going to spoil you? Yeah. Like, well, my mod's, sure. like, Pong's there. Pong will be up. <laughs> yeah, Pong, Pong's watched it. <laughs> I got Pong. Okay. So, well, um, that, that's that's most of the questions. Sure. There's a lot of questions. I try to condense sure. a lot of people. Like there were probably four or five of like those same type of questions. Mm -hmm. So uh, condense it down. I would say also for next time, and this is kind of like a common thing, or not problem, but a common thing in all of our Q and A's, which we haven't done in a while. So it feels nice. Uh, try to do just one question. And something as unique as possible. Uh, a lot of people are going to be asking the same question. A lot of people are going to ask 12 questions. We can't mm -hmm. get to them all. And then some stuff we skip because we also we cover those same yeah. things yeah. in our, mm -hmm. in in our discussion. So if there's a specific thing that you think, oh, I wonder if anybody noticed this, that's what we want to talk yeah. about. Well, like someone did mention about is that dagger going to have some kind of sure. significance. Yeah. But we also had talked about that because we yeah. did as well. I sometimes so. wonder if we should do Q&As before we do our discussion. Just we, so mm -hmm. we can cover that kind of stuff. But we'll figure that out. <coughs> now we need a poll. Now we need a poll. One of my ideas is uh, we saw the return of the Valyrian Steel Knife. Was that a cameo or was that put there for a specific purpose? That was one of my ideas, but you guys have yeah. any others? I, mean, I feel like there could be a lot of them. Yeah. Um, will Will Jorah be able to beat the Grayscale? Does Jorah beat the Grayscale you know, and return like, to Daenerys? What's his fate on that? There's that. I There's, like that one is, better. Will, can Arya succeed in her mission? You will. Know? Who's the first one to die? Yeah, the only issue with that, though, is that you could just do yeah, people. Yeah, there's, yeah. there's like 30 people that you could list. I would say the Arya one might be the, the best one. Uh, just because I kind of expect her to go north. She's going south. I'm yeah. like, oh, I don't like that decision. But is there going to have consequence there? So let's go with the Aria one. You can do that? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, for our poll here, mm -hmm. we're going to ask you guys. Arya has said that she has a mission to kill the queen. <laughs> uh, will she succeed in that? And then uh, when you guys go to uh, Patreon to do the poll, you guys can also leave comments down below. We'll yep. discuss your, uh, your thoughts on if she will and won't succeed. But make sure you guys vote in the poll as well. That will be at patreon.com slash blindwave. What do you guys all think as far yeah. as... So do you think she'll succeed? And then when you talk about it, like, does she, should she even be doing that? Should she do something else? And what do you think she should be doing? Way more important things to do, I think. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I don't think she she'll succeed, know. but I don't think she'll fail. I, I don't know. I don't think she'll succeed. I mean, she's overpowered, like you said. She kind of stated what she was going to do to the soldiers, which when that happens, it doesn't always work out. Yeah. Unless it's Ocean's Eleven or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, if they, if they tell you the plan, they, the plan. they change it. That's always, it's always uh, Eric's yeah. thing. Yep. We know the plan doesn't work. They say the plan doesn't work. They don't say the plan always works. She didn't say, I'm going to go in, I'm going to kill a guy, put his face on, and walk up, and just stab her in the yeah. ass. In the ass? <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> I'm going to say... Back there, man. I'm going to go a huge out there tinfoil theory she does succeed and we don't know when it happened and she's just seriously and then she's seriously for like a long fucking time oh and we don't that would know be fucking there's awesome. that's, that's why i say yes can she put on anyone's face that's dead or does she have to kill them she has to take their face okay yeah. she has to take their face i just like, she killed i just she like, killed what Walter. If, like what they if, take their face what if jamie died somehow and she took jamie's face but she doesn't realize jamie's dead and then Jamie kills. So it's Jamie and Arya That's both what? killing. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, wait, I have two hands? <laughs> Give me that. <laughs> Dude, what? that would be pretty she sweet. Doesn't if, like, she doesn't know. She doesn't know, and then hand. she looks down, she grabs his hand and looks down, and it's an actual hand, and he looks up, and it's... Oh! He's amazing. That'd be sweet. Go vote so, in the poll. That's it. I don't want uh, Jamie to die, though. <laughs> that's it. We will see you guys next week. Go check out our full length. Uh, yes, full length at patreon.com slash blindwave as well as the poll, as well as early access on other shows that yep. we do. Make sure you guys go over there. Check out Patreon. Hit that button. Hit it. Yes. Twitter. Hard, please. Hard. Uh, uh.